Hey guys, it's Joe. I'm hammock camping tonight in my new DD hammock. I'm at my buddy's place. He's camping in his Hennessy hammock. So uh, yeah, stick with us. We're gonna cook some food up. There's a different dog. Skillet's not here. There's a husky named Nanook that we'll introduce you to. Maybe uh, tell a few stories, have some beers. Nothing much, just a, just a good night. There's Buddy Clint. Man, this mallet is awesome. <laughs> Using a, uh, a quick, hatch, quick hatch knife I got sent uh, by the maker Brenton. So um, yeah, it's a beast. If you look at it in my hand, it is enormous. Um, just a big old bruiser of a knife. This should do yay. That's probably enough, huh? That's it. He's out. Good boy. Okay. Okay. I just got him a uh, uh, chicken breast with bone in. Nice. Yeah. And so we don't cook it, and then therefore no, the never never cook uh, any. You can give dogs bones, just make sure they're not cooked. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good boy. Just, just yelling at No, no, he's YouTube. fine. He's fine. What's up? Say hi to the YouTubes. Say hi, Nanook. Oh, he's all about the beer. All about the beer. Right on the hammock. Oh, those look nice, dude. Yeah, they're Angus. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. Do you like a lot? Yeah. Angus, Look at all New that York. Fat in there, eh? New York's? Yes. Nice. Oh, those are those are really nice steaks. <laughs> They're pretty tasty, man. We're cooking these right on the coals this time. I'm gonna try to go for medium rare. I really like medium rare for my steaks. This is a nice Angus uh, fresh cut, so medium rare it is. Oh, buddy. Ooh, I've got a steel fork. Nice. Hop City Robot IPA. Bam. Oh, we don't want so much head. We don't want so much head. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that smells nice. It's so good. 
Oh. Oh yeah. I like this one better than the octopus. Really? Yeah. There's no like. There's no bitter at the end, maybe. It's more bitter for sure. But. Yeah, I like this one better. <gasps> bam, bam, bam. Well, those steaks were delicious. Clint's cousins came out and said hello to us for a minute while we were eating, so didn't get too much filming there, but uh, sun's going down now. Our bellies are full. We've drank the beers, but now we have the Kraken. You ready to look? Are you, re <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to release the Kraken? Yeah. What's up, big boy? I'm going to bed. You come with me? Well, I'm in the old hammock tonight. Made it into bed. All right. A little knee, a little inebriated, <laughs> to say the least. Those beers went down good. Then we had a little bit of the crack and friggin' release the crack and. But uh, in the hammock now, all warmed up, ready for the night. So, yeah, wish me luck. I'll uh, check it in the morning. Good night. Well, it's the morning. What time do you think it is, Clint? About oh, uh, eight o'clock. I slept right through. I think I had a few too many pops last night. Some some daddy pops, and uh, <laughs> I slept really good in this hammock. Um, my feet are a bit cold, to be honest with you, but they're way up there where the, the uh, underquilt stops, and I, my feet are way up there. In all reality, I should have been over here, where my, my feet are covered by the underquilt. But again, I think the daddy pops had a little bit of uh, influence on my decision. And uh, yeah, but good night's sleep. Time to get up and face the world. It's a beautiful day. Oh yeah. Sunshine, there's spider webs I can see. So we're, we're doing good. That's all you need, that little Fiskers, eh? Yeah, it's it's nice. Nothing wrong with it. For stuff like this. What's up, big guy? Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, I guess I could put. I guess I could put my sunglasses on, considering I'm facing the sun. Last night was pretty good. Had a had a good time around the fire. Eat some good food. Um, I met Clint through Facebook. He messaged me and told me that his family has some property close to where I live. It's about a 45 minute, half an hour, 45 minute drive from where I live. And um, if I, I'm be totally honest, we're on his family's property right now. His house, his family's house is probably, I don't know, four or five football fields that way through a field. Um, so we walk back here with our gear set up and there's a good, good amount of woods back here. Um, yeah, so we, he, he offered me use of his woods, and we've been, uh, we've been hanging out a couple times. He's a nice guy, so we get along pretty good. It's nice to have uh, another person, a friend, into this stuff uh, close to where I live. Because um, I don't want to go always go out solo, and Mike and Kyle and Doug all live a hours drive from me, so there's not always that last minute, like, okay, let's do this. And that's what this was. This is a last minute thing. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool.
how this goes. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a tough one. It is. <laughs> Look at that. You are, oh, yeah. you are an outdoor chef. I should have a cooking show. You should. Look at that. An actual <laughs> pancake. It is. Put some icing on that. Is that a GSI or MSR? It's definitely GSI. Nice. Oh, buddy. Like we're Canadian. Eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, man. So I like the hammock. I like this, the fact that it's a, a side entrance as opposed to a bottom entrance. The only, the only other hammock I used, like I said, was a Hennessy and it had a bottom entrance. So getting out to go to the bathroom at night was always an issue, uh, like a 10 minute issue, going out and, and getting back in and all that stuff. But with this thing, you can kind of just do one out the side of it, lay in bed and just, you know, do your business out the side. It's not, not such a bad setup, to be honest. Yeah, happy, happy with the hammock. Um, I got a great night's sleep. Uh, this is going to be more of like a, when I go out for overnights and stuff, I'm probably gonna just be bringing my hammock, especially in buggy weather, um, because this this bug net is, is completely off my face. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be ideal. So the, the under quilt worked well, like I was saying. It was just my stupidity. I wasn't in it proper, properly. My feet were sticking out of it. But uh, next time I'll, I'll know a little bit better. Um, yeah, super happy with it. And the fact that you can use sticks with it to hold it up is kind of cool too. So I didn't even tie any fancy knots or anything. I just did a old shoelace knot, overhand knot, uh, wrapped around the tree a couple times and did that. And it held totally fine, super easy to undo. Man, there is a plethora of birds out here. All right guys, that's it. Life has to happen today. It's uh, Friday, so I'm gonna go back. I think I'm gonna take the kid, kiddo and the wife out today and uh, Quinn's got to do some work, so we're out. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm sure you'll see us together again. Maybe, uh, maybe do another no overnighter out here in a different spot or something. But, uh, yeah, just rambling, so bye. See ya.